Welcome back everyone to Kingdom Come! Oh my god, we are gonna have a good time. This is hardcore mode, all the negative perks you can imagine. So yeah, we got all the negative traits here. Um, honestly, they're not that bad. Last time, I purposely gone to get reading done, so I I'm, was able to go get reading. So the one thing I want to level up is definitely alchemy. We really got to get to alchemy, and this is the only way that's gonna solve this hardcore problem because once I get this done we're gonna have a good time and then we can figure out getting lock picking done and also pickpocketing which will be pretty easy so all right so we made it up here to the alchemist shop uh please uh we got some apothecary I should say marigold decoction I need this no matter what happens this needs to be in my inventory I don't care how it happens here take all my dandelions because I won't need them thank you I'm glad to see you're a man of honor. He's happy, I'm happy, and we're gonna make each other very happy. So, especially since back here, he has a nice little alchemy area that we can use just out here of the rain, and we get our own private little room. So, we're gonna be in here for a little time. There's a nice little trick to actually work up your alchemy real fast. Well, faster, I should say. You get to skip a step, because right now our alchemy is zero, and we need to get this up to level 10. We don't really need to get to level 10, but I would like that. So here, all we need to do is that we just need to add in water, add in nettle, and then add in the freaking, you know, marigold or whatever. All right, so what you need to do for making this quicker is that you just need to add water. You're gonna add the nettle. And it always says to boil after this, but you don't have to boil. You just gotta add the marigold in there and you're fine and then go ahead and add one and add a two and in you go and then you don't have to boil like I said just grab yourself one of the many vial vials you can get um and there we go we brewed in our potion so all we gotta do is just uh, do this a bunch of times like we did this I think I did this twice so far so I mean we're almost to level one Oh my god, it's gonna take such a long time. But, um, the main goal is to get the level 10. Five hours later. Alright, alright, that took freaking ever to do that. But we are finally leveled up to level 10 in alchemy. What we're taking is, of course, we're taking routine. Now we can auto brew potions once we brew them. Taking that. <laughs> I don't. I, I made a ton of potions, and it's only at 990 for selling these potions. Like we're broke. Henry's broke. He's broke. Look at him. I'm almost like, shoot. Should I take snake oil salesman to get more money? But I remember, I can get money. It's fine. We're, I feel like that's what we're gonna have to do next time. Oh boy. Um, I think I need to get some sleep and stuff like that. And why are you? Why are you in your jammies? Oh, Stop you're right there. I have to search you. No. And Anyways, I, like I said, I think that's concealed. enough. Oh, come on, guards. I've been stealing just a little bit. What's going on? <laughs> there you go. For security reasons. Uh, I think you should talk to this. <laughs> it's like talking to my junk. What we need to do, though, most importantly, though, today, is that we need to level up lockpicking and pickpocketing. And if you notice where we're at, it's the end of the glaive. Oh, yes. Why this area? Well... Particularly because it's pretty far away from any town. Like, it's too far from Townberg and it's too far from Neuhof for them to run and get help from anybody. Yeah, so everyone's going to sleep. So you notice is that they're all already naked kind of thing. Um, and they're heading over there. So the NPCs have this habit of storing their things into a single chest. The chest that they're storing it in is uh, this bad boy right here. So I can just go up there when they all go to sleep, steal the stuff out of the chest, and be done with it. Go ahead and rob. See, they have all their stuff in here, so I don't have to knock them all out. I could just steal all their clothes. And so we get all these free clothes. And really what I should do, I don't need to work on my maintenance too, is, um, yeah, pull out the tailoring kit. Repair it all. Why not? What are you guys doing up now? Is it that time? No. Oh. How do you guys have clothes? <laughs> Oh boy. Ah, that's odd. It seems like everybody's stuff respawned. Um, it's all mine again. Just listen to that. 
My god, we're just going through that. I mean, we're gaining maintenance perks like crazy. Um, what is our maintenance at now? Uh, she's level 12. <laughs> Where are you boys getting your clothes at? Like, how are you guys regenerating clothes like this? I stolen everything off of you, and they're putting it back in there. Look at this. <laughs> they're just drawn to putting it back in there. <laughs> We're gonna just open up a tailor shop. Henry's tailor shop. This is- then they're going back to bed. Why are you guys doing this? Not that I don't mind, but- All your clothes belong to me again. Um... There we go. We're just gonna go for another repair session, I guess. And the other good part, too, is that they're actually locking this chest every time, so I'm basically getting free lockpicking here, which is why I came to this spot. My god, I've stolen so much stuff, he even... He took his legs. Oh my god, it took so freaking long. We got lockpick up to luck of the drunk. It'll be 30% easier for the open locks when drunk, but also 30% noisier. Um, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll make things happen. I... Alright, so there's something I want to test out. So now that I got Luck of the Drunk, so can I do very hard right now at level 6? Or do I need level 7 for this? No, I could do it at level 6. Oh my god. Well, game's over now. Wealth is within us now. Um, so your wealth belongs to me. Um, just going to look at this. All these chests. There we go. We'll take all the clothes that you, um, bought from me. I'll steal all this. And I'll steal all this. I'll just oh. give you a quick search. Oh, I robbed one place and this is what happens. Why? What do you think? I can't afford this stuff? Uh so yeah, we can steal from the armor smith which is up there. Let's give it a shot. We're still drunk. We're drunk and we don't care. Alright. Start taking everything. I like to think that he's down in his shop and everything just disappears all at once. <laughs> he's like, what the hell's going on? Bye guards, I'm walking away with a ton of armor. Don't mind me. I'm just going in and out and everything's just disappearing, so I'll be back. All right, so now we got uh, everything situated there, but we gotta go buy ourselves a really nice horse because I'm getting tired of having to steal this thing over and over again. It's time to you know, get our lovely horse that I love so much. The ultimate battle weapon, I should say. And where we're gonna buy our horse at? Well, none other than the world famous Neuenhof Stables. They have some of the best horses all around. Uh, hopefully nothing bad happens to him anytime soon. So... I'll be with you. Do you need anything? I'd like to buy a horse. Is there one in particular you fancy? Uh, yes. Um, uh, Alberca. I mean, that's the one you always get. Done. Oh, jeez. And we're just gonna take everything. Why not? Hey, Alberka, how you doing? A very fine horse. Let's go put on some fancy stuff. So military horseshoes, of course. So now we're at 56. And we put on noble saddlebags. It drops us down to 55, but that's fine. We have pretty good speed, but if we put on a green thing, look, look how much it drops us. Like 49? No, no. I'm not losing I'm not losing five speed because of that. So there's also something else I want to do. So let me get that started. And I want to test it out and see if it's possible. Because I never actually tested it out before, but um, you know what? Why not? Let's go see if it happened. That be the smith's son, Hal. On my soul, it is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. Alright, so here's the deal. When you go up into this other room on the second floor, you get thrown into an automatic, you know, cutscene sort of deal. But, what about if we go directly underneath into the room itself because typically they have the cutscene right in the hallway so if you're in the hallway it's not a big deal you know because they'll just throw you into the cutscene and what if we enact our favorite thing beef jumping so yeah you're fine I want to be over here not over there so open we're allowed in the kitchen right so all right so we're gonna lean here we're already crouched. Commence dropping the beef. So... 
And we did it. We broke in here without setting off the cutscene. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. So all the people are just standing here with each other. <laughs> oh, this is great. Um, hey guys, how's it going? Can I talk to one of you guys? What kind of governor is Sahanush? Sahanush is a good. Man. Oh, they separate out. The hmm. Yeah, yeah. So they kind of everyone else kind of disappears. Can I trigger them? Who are you? Hmm. Mother of God. <laughs> Mother of God. Hey. What the hell are you, you doing? Stop by where you are. are you? Oh, yep. Yeah. What are you doing poking around in that lock? You should have thought twice about what you're doing. It lands you fat fine. Are you now gonna go join the? Oh jeez, he's stolen everything. Does he get sucked back in here? Or... <laughs> yeah, he just gets sucked back into that thing. Well. Stop brandishing that weapon. Oof. Oh, get out of my way! Get out of my way! Don't let get away. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. Well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. <laughs> what are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. I had to. Had to? I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. The miller's daughter, Teresa. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. Be quiet, friar. Be that as it may. Why have you come here? I had to. Had to? What you say is certainly true. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. So we completed the main quest here. Nice job. I mean, well, the main quest. So we completed the quest so we can actually go fight with Sir Bernard and all that. Come here, Don't you piss me. Alright, went a little bit more shopping and, you know, we need to go back here to finish off today. Good God. Um... Andrew, you're rich. Buy some legs. But anyways, let's see. So what I want to do is that I want to do something weird, which is I want to knock this guy out. So we're going to knock you out. And you're like, that's not weird at all so far. Well, it's going to be weird. So in my horse, what I have is I have a bunch of armor. It's kind of ridiculous. And now this guy is going to be richer than rich. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Take all your stuff, because I don't need that stuff in your inventory. But I want to loot you. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make you one of the richest peasants in all of Bohemia. So go ahead and move this onto him. Uh, move that onto him. Move that onto him. Move it, move it, move it. We're just going to give a little wait. Ah, there we go. Okay, so he finally moves over, and he's fine. So, so all we're going to do is that we're just going to not knock him out. But what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, pickpocket him. And you notice our skill right now in pickpocketing is, let's see, it's atrocious. It's one. It's basically nothing. Uh, so all we got to do, he's sleeping. And just make sure it stays green, 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 green. And take that and there. Oh, look at that. We just leveled up pickpocketing. Um... Yeah, look at that. We just got a straight level up from there. Uh, so the thing with about pickpocketing is that you gain skill based off the value of the item that you're stealing. I'm not sure weight matters too, but the more valuable something is, 
uh, the more skill you gain. So for one item there, I just gained basically half a bar. And this is hardcore mode too, so look at that. Oh, we just gained another level. This is absurd. <laughs> Taking all the easy stuff from him. His pockets are full. Look at that, we just gained another level. God, I'm doing this in real time. It's just way too easy. Um, yeah. So the more valuable the items are, the be faster your skills will go. And I, like I said, I don't think... Oh. Oh, nope. Alright. Sometimes, if you go a little too fast, they, um... Need to be put down. So I'm sorry, my my lad. Um, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go down. I didn't mean to put this horse down so early, but, um... That's okay. So we're gonna take your body, we're gonna put it into the dumping ground. And we'll get somebody else to uh, steal from. But you were a good little boy. <laughs> oh god. Uh don't don't open this door. It's fine. Ah. You woke up, you bastard. Another one to the pit. Hey. Alright, so all the good targets are dead, so we're gonna have to go somewhere else to finish off our pickpocketing. Ah uh, yes, the burnt out, out farm. The best area to basically train all you want. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna knock you out. I took care of his wife a while ago. Knock you out. I'm sorry buddy, I know you're just trying to mind your own business and I'm here to train, you know, pickpocketing, so. I think you only get so many pickpocket times with somebody before they start just like, no, no, no. So, I guess try to go the distance on somebody the first time. And that'll work out. Man, skill gain after a while. It's such a toughie. Like, where we're at now, it's like, ugh. This is a problem with hardcore mode. It's just like, oh, man. Oh, we finally made it. Oh, thank you. I could hug somebody. <laughs> oh, we did it. You know how long this took? We're now level 20 pickpocketing. Um, sure, here, uh, I'll take item expert one. I God, that took so long. We killed so many people. I mean, just look at the people I just wiped out. There's no one left here at the Inn in the Glaive. There's only Andrew because I, I kind of left him for just in case I want to do some of his quests. But good God, like, I took everything from this place. Even his legs are gone. Anyways, I think that's good enough for a part right there. Now you can see in hardcore mode, you can basically max out a lot of things. So we're pretty well suited. So I think we should be ready to go on with the main storyline next. I kind of kind of been going around collecting different recipes and everything else, but I hope to see you guys around next time. Until then, have a good one and goodbye. Indeed, the pit stein is yours for as long as you need it. Oh, look at that! Oh my god, look at they're still there! We got doubles! <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on, people. Use the stairs. I'm trying to rob you. <laughs> they're stuck, you can't... Well, you don't see that too often. He saw a body and he's stuck inside... What the heck was this? Oh. Well, I fell for the trap, didn't I? <laughs> oh my god. Well. Thank you.